This is my MacBook Pro M1 Pro. It's almost two years that I have this laptop. How it's going now? Is it good? Is it bad? The battery still lasts? Watch the video and I will tell you everything after two years of using this MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Today, as we saw from the intro and from the title, we're going to talk about my MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro. So I bought this laptop almost the first month that it launched, because before this, I had the standard MacBook Pro with the M1, not the M1 Pro. So it was the 13 inches MacBook Pro, and I found myself very, very good using MacBook, because before that, I haven't really use that much MacBook or macOS in general. But finding myself a lot confident with the MacBook Pro with the M1, I decided to do an upgrade and to buy this Pro version. So for a lot of reasons, but the main reasons were this is 14 inches, so a little bit bigger of screen estate. For the screen itself, because this is 120 Hz screen, it does have faster refresh rate that one was only 60 Hz, but also for the ports. So this one has, has three USB-C ports. It does have HDMI, it does have SD card. But anyway, how it still holds after almost two years. So let's talk about the design. As you already know, MacBooks are really, really good design and they are really well made. They use premium mat materials and they didn't wear that much in the time. In fact, this one, hold it a lot better than my expectation because if we look at the ports for example and just consider that i use this pretty much every day i just plug and unplug everything in this macbook and you can see also the magsafe port it is still holding very very good and actually this is the space gray color so i thought with the time this color would just get a lot of scratches and damages all around, but really it, su it surprised me and it doesn't have any scratches at all. Also on the chassis, also in the ports, as you already saw, so pretty much anything. And I did bring this laptop pretty much everywhere when I am traveling. It has been used <laughs> quite a lot. Then the screen inch, it didn't get softer. It is sturdy as the first day that I got this MacBook. Also, I can close the laptop through here, it will not close automatically with the heavy chassis and screen. So it is still holding very, very good, actually. Talking about the inside, the speakers are still one of the greatest that you can have on the market at the moment on a laptop. I use them a lot also when I'm editing videos. And actually, I use them also when I use this laptop in clamshell mode. So in this mode right here, basically. So I use them and they are really really good because they are very loud and also they sound really great also in this mode talking about the display of this macbook it is still a very very good display it is very bright it does have a lot of details as you can see right now if i just pump up the brightness you can see it very perfectly also if i show you the light reflection in the screen you can still see the screen very very well and the only problem that this display does have is suffers from bloom effect. So when you have an art light on black background, for example, these abstract videos where you have a bright image in the middle and maybe on black background, you will see, maybe not right now, but usually at the maximum of brightness, you will see like a little bit of bloom around the lighter object in this case. In my experience, this is the only problem that I have with this display, but it is not that bad. But if you watch a lot of this content with this kind of images, I mean, it does bother you a little bit if you are a tech nerd, of course. <laughs> then talking about the battery, it is still at a good level, in my opinion. We can see right here, it is still in normal condition. And if I click on the info button, you will see that my maximum capacity, it is still at 90%. So it is still a good percentage after almost two years. And in fact, it can still hold a day of light to medium work, we can say. Performance side, it is still a very good machine indeed. And in my opinion, it is comparable still to an M2 Pro without any problem. My most intensive task on this particular laptop, it is video editing. And I can say it can still handle 
very well with no lag at all video editing. Plus with the updates of the apps, for example, uh, Premiere Pro where I had it or maybe Photoshop and with the update of the laptop. So right now we have macOS Sonoma, as we can see. So with both these updates, the laptop right now, it is also faster and just because it is more optimized. So in my opinion, it is still a great machine overall. I mean, it does have still a lot of performance and quality in a sm very small factor, especially this one that is 14 inches. And I can say I would buy this MacBook again if I could go back in time every time, because as I said before, it's still a very, very good machine. And I can recommend it more to people who need a powerful machine with this price. Still at this very moment that you can choose maybe an M3 or maybe an M2, I could still recommend this one at a very good price because the performance gap between this and a newest machine, it is not that much taken in consideration on what the usage of this laptop would be, of course. If it will be on 3D modeling and game development, I mean, the M3 MacBook, it is the choice, but for everything else, I think that this MacBook M1 Pro, it is still one of the best MacBook on the market. And I think one of the most convenient at the moment for the price and the performance that it can offer. So these were my consideration after two years of using this MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro. If you agree with me, let me know it down below in the comments. And also if you need some specific tests or benchmark to do on this M1 Pro, just let me know it down below in the comments. In any other case, if you did like this video, just hit a like button down below because it's free. And also if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, just hit the subscribe button down below. As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.